Welcome back to Restless in Riverside to Project Zomboid to Randy's little rampage. Um, so yeah, I've been a very uneventful night. Just wanted to see if we can wrap any happiness book here. No. Since we're kind of standing around in an empty room, we'll make sure we completely clear of boredom. So let's have a quick red book read. Ah, it's gonna be not bored again anymore in a second anyway, because we are, well, first of all, in terrible weather, second of all, trying to get over there to that house, because we found an annotated map that said cool stuff over there. I actually don't remember what exactly it said, but it circled that house, so that's that's good enough for me. Not asking too many questions. It looks like it's properly barricaded. It doesn't have all the windows covered in curtains on the top floor, so it's not your, your typical annotated or survivor house thing. Between episodes, I did um, go ahead, and I, I, I gotta say, I have pretty much no idea about PZ modding, but I was just looking around in the files for that mod that adds the energy drinks, and found something like a spawn distribution, and I just removed every line that referred to packs. Previously, I just change the numbers in every line, you know, instead of 20, like, put it to 5. So, well, let's, let's make it rarer. Smaller number sounds rarer. And this time I just, yeah. Okay, let's, let's remove it. Remove it all. And, yeah, we'll see. Now, I'm fairly certain the area here we've already been in, that ship has sailed, that loot is already spawned. So that won't have an effect just yet. But yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I have enough willpower to just not loot the items we find. Oh. Doing the free free uh, sixty look around here while the zombie was getting up. I didn't expect that to be your honor. Yeah, that's a little wake up call there, I guess. Very thoroughly barricaded here. As we try to get in over there, where there's only a single plank on the window. Definitely hearing some zombie sounds inside. Ah, okay. Well, you know what? Maybe maybe it's not that interesting. Like, what, what is a survivor house gonna have? Hey, weapons, ammo, food. We don't need any of that stuff. Very uninterested in me. I appreciate that. Right, so how do we do this? You know, 
I think I'm just gonna up the fence here. Just we then we hightail it across the road and hop the fence to our own backyard. I think we even do uh, my favorite trick, cut through a house. Close the doors behind us. Well, that was uh, definitely anticlimactic. Well, if that's the case... I think we're gonna load up the bike with uh, all the stuff we have. And that we want to bring along. Let's see how much we can fit here. I'm gonna keep some food on me. It's not not cold enough yet for the big leather jacket. What else? We have another machete here. This looks fine, all right. Okay, so I'm gonna um, look through our belongings here. Probably read through any magazines we have, and then we get on the move and move out of Riverside and into the Riverside Warehouse District, which is basically, um, yeah, over here somewhere. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, it's a little bit later in the day than I would have liked. I made another quick pass through the house to see... I mean, it was a survivor house after all, if there was anything else I wanted to pick up. Um, I did load up the two side saddlebags and I left the back one now completely empty since it has 42 or 41 storage capacity. And that's enough to put a generator in there if we need one. Um, but yeah, for now I think I'm gonna leave this all behind here. Riverside has nothing to offer, it doesn't have a mechanic shop. I guess it has one if you consider the outside area that part of Riverside. Now we have to consider, we're probably gonna um, be a few days over there, you know, killing zombies around that area and barricading that mechanic shop over there. So we gotta find a spot that I'm comfortable with staying and like the first thing that comes to mind would be the self-storage unit. We'll also expect to find a generator. I know there's like at least one storage cabinet that always has a, a mattress in it. Why don't we actually head down there? Find a good spot. I think this seems good enough to get off the bike and find a way into this place. Now, one other factor with this whole mission of securing all the mechanic shops on the map. There's a bunch of modded maps that I have never played, so I don't even know if do they have a mechanic shop 
If so, where is it? So we're gonna do a whole bunch of exploration here. But I'm also gonna uh, probably say that um, one per city should be enough. Well, outside of Louisville. Louisville, I think we have to have to do all of the mechanic shops, but um, any of the smaller cities, single single shop should be enough. Like, if I'm thinking about West Point, it makes no sense to me barricading the American tire just outside the town. And then also two streets over, barricading the car, car fixation or whatever it is. Alright, on a separate note, there's my Wilder Mask. And his lucky um, streak seems to be going. Going on that way, that I mean, not not going away. I got a little bit of work to do. I wonder if I should start inside or if we continue clearing the ones outside the fence. I don't think once we're inside they can path to us. Especially like the the lockup I was thinking about as a sleeping base somewhere over here. There's also one thing um, I, I just realized I should just do, right? We removed all the um, blocks of energy drinks. So these here, these 24, they don't exist. Put them away. They also don't have models when they're on the ground, apparently. Alright. Yeah, that's just the, uh, you know, self nerf here. Or self adjustment. I still haven't figured out which car is that, but doesn't get displayed properly. Uh, anyway, a quick rest here. It's relatively empty. Now, the worst thing that could happen is if these um, lockers have an alarm. They do not. This isn't that inviting? Some mattresses. Also, a little bit of blood. Oh, we could totally um, wear that poncho, yeah? I'm a biker, but I'm also not stupid. It's all about wearing the right clothing for the right weather. It's like we have a neighbor. I was kind of hoping for a couple zombies here that I can lure inside for a potential key. I don't think I've ever seen this place so empty. There's one more guy up there. I'm gonna, gonna bring both of you to my little... little open boat and hope I can get a key for that side of the facility. Also, we're doing a quick step into the other ones, just to... make sure none of them trigger an alarm. Oh, 
Why would you do this? Yeah. Where's the other one? Yeah, this is like herding cats. Come on now. Fresh brain, right here. Sure, why I cared so much about having a mattress. We're not sleeping. Ah, old habits die hard. Alright, where's the the guy banging on the gate? I guess I could have pulled one of you guys over to the other side. I'll be very sad when they remove that key trick where you can, you know, as long as you kill a zombie inside a building, you can get a key for that building. And they did say they wanted to remove that and make it more dependent on where the zombies spawned and not where you kill them. I'm not even sure what I'm looking for here. Maybe eventually having a tent kit might not be the worst idea. But for now, this seems reasonably safe. Yeah, there's a few individual zombies locked in, but uh, as we all know, a single zombie cannot beat down a door. Well, so that's nothing I worry too much about. Do I actually have a wrench? I don't think I have a wrench yet for vehicle repairs. I think it's time. Yeah, let's get the bike in there. Get it out of the rain. So apparently some zombies locked in this lockup. Yeah, we're just gonna, you know, as I said, packs don't exist, so the loot from packs also shouldn't exist. So, uh, yeah, adjusting that, putting us back on um, one here, and I think we have four in the in the back, and I think that that puts it more to a little bit of a little bit of a need we have to look after without being impossible. Hmm. 
One thing I want to quickly grab here is the gas can. That's good. Didn't even fully empty it out. See if we can snag a key for this one. I guess one thing we could look for. I was was considering going for the gas station or the mechanic shop, but I think it's getting a little bit late and dark here. So we're gonna check out this building and see if there's maybe a flashlight somewhere. That would help a big deal. Okay. After uh, last episode's bathroom party. I'm back to the good old habit of door flashing. Unless I'm kind of somewhat certain that there's uh, not one to more than one zombie. Although even you then, know, you know, door flashing is just a good habit. Like that bathroom party? That would have had any any runners. That would have been really bad news. Next one, wonderful. And let's also read some maps here. Rosemary. That's one of the maps I've never played on. Uh huh. Residential, industrial. Mm -hmm. This could be a repair shop. I don't know. I don't always trust that everything is colored uh, correctly. Uh, where is this city? Rosemary, down here? Okay. So maybe we swing around this, this way, around the map? It's hiding a weapons locker. Yeah, all right. Do we need more short blunt weapons? I don't think so. A reasonably well well stocked on weaponry. Lock that door. I think that's a long blunt weapon. I'm not sure if I have a jack. I think that might be the one last thing. One last thing we need for. Uh, car repairs. Alright. You are a big old hammer, but I don't have a destroy option, so you're not working as a sledgehammer. I just saw the unable to use at max exertion, which is the text you usually only see on the um, sledgehammer. It's gonna be an alternate sledge, and it's not. Only a single 
generator and this one. But we found a civil, uh, uh, residential house in Riverside with three generators. Okay, no luck here in terms of flashlights. And also no luck with keys here. Did I actually check this? There's a distinct lack of zombies we can we can lure into any of these places. What we can do though, I think I have a backup key. Counts as inside. No key though. And that those ones out that are banging. This on the side. <laughs> backpack. I mean, I'll take an extra looting backpack, sure. So yeah, I guess on that note, on what I asked myself earlier, what am I looking for? Yeah, I'm looking for a flashlight and I'm looking for a sledgehammer. Sledgehammer because can always be useful. Ooh. Wait, do we leave Santa Claus behind? I guess we have to. We have limited space. So, uh, time to open another bottle, can, whatever. Second gas can is gonna be nice. Oh, I wanted to check also the um, the cars over in the in the parking lot. Repair rubber solution. I'm just gonna ignore that and think that's never gonna be useful. I'm not sure how I got over and come out there in between. Oh, I guess my, my well fat buff went away. Oh, we'll sort that out in a second. Just want to finish up um, opening up this side. I don't think we're going to open up the rest. Yeah, and with uh, no flashlight inside, but also no zombie inside, I think we're gonna cuddle up next to our beloved.
in the dark. And you know what? We're gonna we're gonna do a second. I'll uh, sort out through the night. Maybe do some reading, and do some eating, drinking, and making sure we're no longer encumbered. And we'll be back in the morning, probably heading out. Um, where are we? Here we are. I kind of want to head out to the warehouse first before we um, go to the mechanic shop because we, we obviously need nails. Uh, we're also going to need to chop down some trees for planks and stuff. So uh, if we can find a wood axe, would be nice. A few boxes of nails, um, all that kind of good jazz. All right, we'll be right back. Well, it is the next morning, um, as usual. And so I'm on my way towards the warehouse. Also, I shouldn't be running with the axe equipped. Now, I did a quick uh, inventory of what I had in the bike. How did I... What? Why am I now over encumbered? Did I lose my, my well-fed buff again and I wasn't paying attention? Oh, I have the book out. That's why. Also, the axe no longer equipped. All right. So, the gas can is fairly heavy. Let's put all that stuff in the back. Um, so, yeah. Um, I I did chuck one more... One more energy drink. After getting... Well, after it became night, daytime here. And this is our last can now. Now, I know there's 24 cans on the ground just behind our uh, our camp, but uh, no, not, they, they were from a pack. Packs don't exist. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be consistent about that. Uh, do I have any metal bars? Yes. Hey, this is one thing I really like about fighting short and blunt, and I might have already said this, but being able to have all your weapon slots for weapons of your chosen type, fantastic. You're not, you're not getting out of here. You're not getting out through that window. You guys are stuck in here with me! Okay. There's no water cooler in this office. It's a shame. In the drinks machine. What about here? Yep, no, yep, okay. That's uh, definitely extremely relute, yes. We're gonna pay a quick short visit to the bathroom to fill up our water. Actually, check the. I might need to check the garbage cans for like plastic water bottles because we do have the um, the other energy drink that we can mix. But we need some empty bottles for that, or um, the bourbon bottles we have will not work for this. Alright, got plenty of metal bars, metal pipes here in case we need any more weapons. But what I was mostly looking for is, well, a wood axe would be nice, and some nails, right? The, the two main things. Hurts, hurts in my soul to leave a splitting axe behind, but we're not an axe man this time. Here's a wood clue in case we get some brick hammers, we can repair them. Oh, wind torch. I'm surprised that we find everything, but not uh, not nails. Okay, now we have some nails. Cool. Ah, spare hammer. What's back here? 
more of the same, more of the same. There's only one item here, and that's... Pick this one up. Actually worked. Damn. <laughs> I have to place it down. Normally it breaks. What's like, what, 70% to break? Ah, nothing in the corner. I mean, hoping for a, a wood axe here yeah? might be asking for too much. Don't see anyone else outside. Mostly because I closed the door so quickly. That's how it works, right? If I don't see anyone, they don't see me. There's a wood axe. Beautiful. Now that's gonna make getting any sort of wood for our barricades much easier. Ah, red box of nails. Okay, so I think now I'm gonna, you know. We're looting. We're lo I'm in looting mode. Now, now I'm gonna look for all the all the bird crates here. Yeah. So there's still I remember from the um, not even no I don't remember which run it was, but there was like this brick hammer as a weapon, which I really enjoyed. That felt always very very strong. Maybe we can find a few of those here. Maybe we can find one here. That's uh, temper expectations. I think I have enough nails now. Like eight boxes or so. And this is not the last warehouse uh, we ever come across. It's a better water container than the bottles we're using. I'm kind of enjoying being indoors while it's that hell of a weather outside. Sounds like a single zombie, and I'm just gonna try the uh, trust of the whole. Um, he can't get in here if he's on his own. Any problem in there? We've been very picky here, but yeah, this 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 warehouse is still one of my favorite looting spots. Like day one, if you're starting anywhere near Riverside, just go here. Everything's in here that you could want. Boxes, crowbars. Let's. Uh, all right, no flashlights though. Well, I wasn't really expecting to find them here. Yeah. I'm not even sure where you normally find flashlights. I guess in the mechanic shops, the shop. Okay. Enough about that. We don't want to eat. We just want to check. Sure, let's fill up one of our gas cans. That, that wasn't really a fill up. Every car has just a, like a small amount of gas only. Let's 
there. Checking the wrong side here. Okay. Looks like we got some company though. Okay. It's fighting time. Looting time is over, fighting time is here. We also should read some more of the maps that we find here. I was like, ah, oh, I know how Louis looks. I, I, I've played the game a few times, but now, yeah, starting with an empty map, always good to fill that in with the dropped maps. Ooh, that bottle might work. This, this perspective is great. Can totally control. Um, there's a zombie nearby. Absolutely nothing dangerous in that perspective. So five of them, okay. Six even. Here we go. What I really like about um, short plants, you, you hit them and hit them and hit them, and they all take a little bit of damage, and it feels like you're not killing anyone, and you're spreading out your damage, and then suddenly it's one shot, one shot, one shot, well, killing, killing blow, killing blow, killing blow. And they're all that. Map Rabbit Hash. I thought I left Rabbit Hash off, off, off the list this time. Oh yes, so we have it again. I like the map. Also, as often in the advantage since you're killing everybody uh, at the end, that everybody ends up in one big pile. Oh god, Moldro has a mechanic shop, yes. God damn it. <laughs> ah, I wanna go to Moldro. Moldro is the place where people die. I want to clear out this group first here. We have to swing down there, clear that group near near our our base. I don't even want to call it a base. Let's level up. Wonderful. 
Okay, yeah, let's let's push down there. This is um this area has surprisingly many zombies, I think. For you know, considering what you're used to from Riverside. It's an industrial area, trader park. Has a fair number of zombies. Nothing we can't handle, he says, while he's pulling too many and wondering um, at what point my exertion will start ticking in. Let's actually get some better blockers here. Turning to crawl us. Always awkward, always awkward. Okay. So, wait, so I'm, I'm looking at the at the loot and the zombies and I'm thinking, oh, walkie talkies, I can disassemble them for an electrical skill, but it's like, what for? I, I'm not gonna be hot wiring many cars, if any. Like, I'm gonna be. On my bike. And now that I realize that I can even put a generator in the back, I think there's very little reason to drive around with the car outside of bike is awkward and getting off takes longer than getting out of the car, so it's a little bit more risky around zombies, but hey. It's my bike. I was wondering uh, when those guys would start, start showing up again. Also very nice. Oh, getting all the skill ups here today. How are we looking here? Alright, short plant up to four, maintenance up to three. Oh, yeah, it's probably one of the first, if not the first times, time that I play a character with who starts with maintenance skill. I don't remember doing that ever before. It's a common thing for like people who use spears a lot. They then grab the handy trade in vanilla in order to start with maintenance. Uh, yeah, not a spear enthusiast. Right, this is our first objective here. Riverside Out Shop. Okay. 
please, please don't break down the door. My my uh, hungry self reading all oh, fast food and that's server hat. Yeah, okay. No, that's not nothing. Uh, anything to eat? It's, it's a hat. Okay. Looking reasonably clear for now. Waiting for the first uh, of these places to have a uh, the house alarm and betray me like that. Fill, let's fill these empty bottles. They're not fill at the sink. Fill also the canteens. Toolbox, bulkhead hammer. Okay, no, no, don't, don't care. I feel like the um, vision doesn't really change much if the door is open or closed. Almost froze me off a little bit. Okay, so this is this is kind of secure. So now I did say our goal is to turn each of these kind of repair shops into a base. And that probably means we want to barricade those two doors. There are no windows, and you can't barricade these. Um, I did say I wanted to um, put some supplies there in in terms of food. I'm not sure what's a reasonable amount. Two, three days worth of food. Should have probably brought some of the canned food with me. Maybe we can find some more food to put there here in the gas station. And ideally also some water. Now obviously I don't have any carpentry skill yet, so we can't build a water collection barrel. So um, it should have to be like a water water thing. Yes, that's exactly how it's called. Um, a can I not remember the name right now? You know, the, the water dispenser. Yeah, exactly. Water cooler. The big blue things. Really neat though. It's swinging when the zombies are actually in range and also uh, level the nimble. That would be great. I mean, appreciate all the other levels we got today, but nimble would be a real game changer.
So, we're looking here. Oh, the one guy from that group who didn't come was the runner. Lucky day. Lucky day indeed. I'm hungry. That's that's the reason why I'm over overburdened again. Yeah, I think so. There should either be in the front front office of the trailer park uh, a water cooler, or over here in the in the other factory building. And we might find some food we can stash there, here in the restaurant, or in the gas station. So I think today, since we're up here, restaurant and gas station. waiting for that thing to break the whole time. And it finally happens. Okay, hammer gone, pipe gone. Oh. Uh, sure, take the matches. Let's get a fresh hammer on the belt, fresh pipe on the back. Oh, I don't want to cough. Oh, quick sit in here. It's the lamp outside. I was like wondering what's what's on that table there. And we're getting drowsy. Alright. Time for our final. Chuck, chuck, chuck. Yeah, hmm. I don't think I don't think rotten potatoes is what I'm looking for. Just saying, not quite what I wanted to put there as uh, food reserves. Let's grab some quick smoke and then head to the gas station. I can never find my cigarette. I need I need a fanny pack. I should have looted some more residential houses to find a fanny pack. I thought this was a zombie. I was kind of going in that direction. No, kill, kill the lone zombie first. So, no, that, that's a flower. It's not a very big flower, but it's a flower. Maybe a bush. Maybe a robbery. I also remember when we were leaving Riverside, I never went back to the police station to fully loot that thing. That's fine, we have limited cargo space anyway. Looks somewhat clear here. Looks somewhat closed here. Oh. Still doing service hours here. Still 
cigarettes, but now I have 20 more. That, that is not a map we've seen yet. Okay. Really fill me with hope that we find a lot of food here, but I, I guess that counts. Mmm, rotten burrito. Ooh, and there's a few more single cans here. Okay, save for another two days. I think we have still some, I don't even want to say daylight left, because there's not been any light today, at all. And maybe we can have a look over there in the other factory building, depending on how busy the parking lot here is. It's okay. Sneak past those two zombies on the left. And I will... This time, I guess, not drain fuel from every single car. This guy, he just woke up. Just taking a nap there. Faking to be dead. Sleeping there to avoid responsibilities. Probably worked for the government previously. Uh, okay, let's There is a water cooler. I thought I saw also one in here somewhere. No. Okay, but one is one is good enough for me. So really use a flashlight. Alright, we wanna bring this over to the to the um, car shop, repair shop. Probably not on foot, and probably not tonight. Yeesh. Right, anyone on the factory floor? Not sure if there were sometimes flashlights in the lockers. I think so. Let's uh, check a few more crates over here. I don't like the conditions at the moment. So mostly relying on my hearing. Yeah, wait, we're not gonna be doing much metal work. I don't need to collect 5,000 or every single 
paint torch I can find. Check the tools room back here. I know it's a little bit hard to see right now. Just so you know, there were zombies. Uh, that's a brick hammer, I'll take him out. Even if it over encumbers us slightly. Uh, Slim Jim. So heavy. It's so heavy. It's a sledge. Uh, let's come back in the morning. Uh, it's it's too dark. I want the slim gem. I want the sledge. I want to bring the um, thing over to the other place. Come back when we have some light and when we have some carrying capacity. That's that's not a shrubbery here, that's actually a zombie. Survived another day, cleared out our first potential base look. That's not my garage. Uh, did, I, did I close the door in the morning? What's that? Good? I want to get any unruly people in here to uh, do something to my bike. Right, uh, yeah, survived so another day. Get through here. So, I think tomorrow we're gonna do the first few steps. We're gonna pick up the generator we found, bring it over to the station, fuel it up. Uh, part one of building a base complete. And then, kill, of course, any zombies that follow on us. Um, then, we're gonna chop down some trees, barricade the, the non garage entrances. Um, would be nice if we had some sort of sleeping option there. I think I saw a tent kit um, when we were looking through the, the lockups here. So setting up a tent in, a tent in there. I'm not sleeping, but I'm not just doing that for myself, right? I'm sure there are other surviving bikers out there. And, you know, setting up a, a network of bases for all the, all the biker nomads out there. So, yeah, sleeping spot, get the water cooler have a water supply in the base, then we'll just have to consider how much of my food I can reasonably leave there to call it, on the one hand, to not jeopardize my own uh, food situation, and on the other hand, also to actually have a food supply for potential survivors that, that come in a search for something. Um, I'm not sure why I ever picked up these seeds. We're not, we're not gonna... We're not gonna be doing any of this. Let's, let's start clearing out a little bit. Let's mantle this camera. Uh, also, do we have... Yes, we can actually make ourselves energy drinks with this. So now we have... Um, yeah, they're also 30 fatigue, just like the, the, the other ones. Constantly trying to avoid um, saying brand names, even though they're clearly on screen. Anyway, Gonna put a card in here. Plans for tomorrow are clear, so um, yeah, I'm gonna spend the night reading some about mechanics and uh, not sleeping. Thanks for watching. See you next time.